What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Oh, so, no wonder that felt so heavy. Look at that, guys. We got ourselves a uh, ninth badge right here, and we're finally back into the Kanto region two, three years later. I don't know, but my ID card pretty much said that we started this game about two years ago. That's a little embarrassing, my bad, guys. I seem to remember the last time I had a game that uh, lasted about four years or so. Yeah, Pokemon Heart Gold or Soul Silver. Yeah. So, anywho, guys, uh, welcome. Welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold. Yes. Uh, Who'd ever thought that we'd actually get back here into Pokemon Heart Gold? And yes, uh, we're kind of doing we're kind of doing this postcom right now because uh, yeah. But what brought upon this whole thing right here, guys? Very very simple. I was scrolling down my computer, uh, my external hard drive. And I happened to find about eight episodes of Pokemon Heart Gold. Initially, I was gonna replay the game and get and I get to the part where I actually defeated Lieutenant Surge and all that stuff. But I found eight episodes. Technically, it was supposed to be twenty. Yeah, it was literally supposed to be twenty episodes. But I guess I deleted uh, most of those episodes because, well, I thought I wasn't gonna play this game ever again. But yeah. Uh, how things changed right here, guys. Pokemon Heart Gold. And, yeah, we started this game two years ago when the pandemic started. So, technically, we should have been done with this game already. Now, let's see. What, what, what can I say about this whole thing right here, guys? Um, so, of course, this is my birthday uh, marathon right here. Um, this right here is just assurance to you guys that yes, we will be coming back to Pokemon Heart Gold and we will be finishing this game right here. Uh, one of the biggest things about this game that I love is the fact that it incorporates both regions and it added just a little bit more, including the legendaries and all that stuff. And I know that many of you guys have, have been asking, Draven, are you going to go back to Heart Gold? Hey, are you going to... Finish that ever? Uh, are you gonna ever finish that up? And in my mind, I was like, yeah, I don't think I'm ever gonna do that again. But you know, birthday month, birthday marathon. Um, my, you, you guys already know, my mind changes all the friggin' time. So I decided, you know what? We got the equipment, we got the means to do it. I think, I think you guys do deserve to get Pokemon Heart Gold. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing right here. Um, mind you, I did record 20 episodes and only 8 of them survived, so my bad guys, my bad. My past self uh, apologizes to all of you guys right here, but, um, after 8 episodes, we will be finishing up on episode 50, I believe. We're gonna go back to Livecom. That is the, that is probably the best part about this new walkthrough that we have right here, or this, uh, <laughs> older walkthrough right here. Um, for those who don't know and who are just coming onto my channel, yes, this was a mainstay onto my uh, onto my channel. I actually came out with Heart Gold during the pandemic, where I was actually uploading about eight walkthroughs and finishing them all, except for this one. Um, at first, we were getting a live comp, but then my computer started slowing down, and then we started going into post comp, which. To be quite honest, after doing postcom for like about six years, guys, I, 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 I was like, you know what, it made me rather lazy. I'd rather be playing the game rather than, you know, just narrating it and then seeing the walkthrough and all that stuff. Because you guys already know me. I don't remember a lot of my stuff right here. And all of this is, uh, you know, me trying to get into the groove of speaking and, uh, you know, narrating all this stuff right here. Yeah. As you can see, we, we, we're kind of in a blackout right here. We're going to be going into Saffron City. Now, the first thing that you should be doing right here once you get to Saffron is going into Mr. Psychic's house because, well, it says it right there on the name. It's Mr. Psychic. He'll actually give you a nice item right here, and he'll figure it out before you even say anything. Yes, look at that. TM29, guys. We got ourselves Psychic, which I will be teaching to one of my Pokemon right here. So, like I was saying, guys... After, you know, we get to episode 50, yes, we will be going back into Livecom because I'm going to be bragging about it right now. Uh, we got ourselves a gaming computer, and we just proved that we can actually play the disc movement onto this gaming computer. The only problem is that, well, good old Draven has to replay the game all the way to where ep episode 50 ends. And trust me, guys, I am not looking forward to that. I really, I really am not. Um, some of you guys are ask, might, might just ask, Draven, don't you have a save file somewhere? Didn't you keep it in an external? Uh, yeah. 
let's not go that far. You're asking a little too much from me. Someone who just changes his mind every single time. So yeah, we're gonna be playing that game. Uh, we're gonna be replaying that game until we get to, you know, where we landed. Trust me, it's not gonna be that far. It's just uh, I gotta rewatch the whole thing. So as you can see right here, this is the Silph Co. And as the lady just said, yeah, Team Rocket try to try to take over this place. Now after three years coming into the Silph Co, you're not gonna be able to go anywhere right now because well. Yeah, there's a blackout, but for your efforts, this guy will give you an upgrade, which will evolve a Porygon, and, uh, well, the Silph Coast Building Office. Okay, so that's pretty much it right there, but once you come back after, you know, solving the power plant issue, you still won't be able to go anywhere into the Silph Coast because of what happened uh, two, three years ago in Pokemon Fire Red, Leaf Green, Red, Blue, Yellow, you know, that kind of stuff. And as you can see, guys, we are in the Saffron City Gym, or we're going into the Saffron City Gym, and, uh, okay, I don't necessarily know what I did that, but here is the Fighting Dojo, and uh, the Fighting Dojo has uh, seen better days right here. Uh, Karate Kid, or Karate King is saying that, you know, the Fighting Dojo leader is at Johto training somewhere, which I believe is at Mount Mortar. Could be wrong. So, this episode right here is going to feature us in another gym battle. And don't be too surprised if we get back to back to back, and I mean back to back, uh, gym battles. Once you defeat the Johto, uh, the Johto area, going into gyms is going to be a little bit easier for you. So don't be too surprised if we get like five extra badges or something like that. But anywho, guys, like I was saying, yeah. Um, now, when can you expect? When will you expect another, you know, live comp episode of Pokemon Arceus? Uh, I'm kind of thinking towards. Give me a week or two. Just give me a week or two to actually replay this game and get to where I need to be. And I'm going to, you know, add it to the repertoire right here of uh, Pokemon walkthroughs and all that stuff. The great thing about it is that I can now do the live comm and I can hit both the vocals and the gameplay all at once. That way I don't have to, like, you know, rewatch the, 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 the episodes that I've been playing and stuff. Sometimes when I'm playing this game and I have to do post comm and all that stuff, I have to remember, I have to rewatch these episodes and yeah, you know, it, it kind of sucks, guys. It really does suck that, you know, um, you're just trying to figure out, like, you're trying to figure out how to actually remember everything. And some of you guys will, will be like, well, why won't you just write down something? Or why won't you write down what happened? You really think that I'm that, you know, that, <laughs> do you guys really think I'm that prepared? Not really. So, as you can see, here we have Relic. It's been a while. Holy crud. Okay, so yes, I did teach this Pokemon uh, some pretty good moves right here. Looking at Shadow Ball for the win. Now, let's see. There is an episode. There will be an episode right here uh, during this marathon that will be cut off, will be getting cut off a little too short. Um, there was a little bit of a corruption while recording this thing. And that's another thing, too, about this game is that, you know, we can prevent any kind of corruption uh, of files or anything like that. So, here we are, moving ahead, and I think off-screen, I was actually looking at the puzzle right here. I don't know, but from what it looks like right here, we have, like, a good nine minutes and all that stuff. This guy is telling me about my psychic, or my psychic power. Me, I, I'm just like, I, I, I just don't care. Okay, so, Psychic Franklin, time to take this out. Here we go, take on Kadabra. Oh, yes. Now, let's see. What was another plan that I actually had uh, going into this quote-unquote hack and all that stuff? Uh, yeah, I was going to play Pokemon Crystal again. That took a, a, seat, a, a back seat because, well, you know, we've already played these games. And, yeah, I just kind of don't want to... I, I just kind of want to, like, be up to date. Like, the, the, the way... Or the, the thought of being up to date with the games played in comparison to restarting... It, it kind of hit me somewhere because it was like, look, it took me about two, two and a half years to get up to date. Barring the pandemic and all that stuff, yes, uh, this could have been, this could it could have been another four years if I would have, you know, if I would have gone the same way I, I went. But you know, restarting, restarting from day one, just because we changed up a few things here and there, uh, to me that that was very tiresome, very very tiresome. I I don't know why, but. Uh, from there, it was just like, you know, I, 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 the thought was, that I don't know how long I'm going to be staying onto YouTube. So, you might as well have all these walkthroughs the way they are and just continue on from here. You guys know what I'm talking about? 
life of a YouTuber is a little hard, so we've already gone right here, and, uh, yeah, the, the Saffron City Gym uh, puzzle has always been, uh, one of those places that just really, really gets at me, just because of, a uh, you know, where you actually have to go. I do believe in this episode, I, I skip a few trainers here and there, just so we can get to Sabrina, and, well, there's that guy, or girl I, I don't even know like from like for a long like for the longest time I actually thought I actually thought Chandlers were were men but then when they when they got switched from Chandlers to medium it was like oh they were females the whole entire time that's kind of funny huh. never mind so here we go shadow claw for the win and come on go to sleep yet yeah, oh wait did it go to sleep it's kind of hard to, to, to see it from here Okay, so Slowpoke has fainted. Hercules gets some more experience points. And Toxic Batman looking like a million bucks right there. So here comes Slowbro. So we're going to be switching out right here. Let's go straight to Fluff Bolt. Now, let's see. Here was another thing that I was talking about early on. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually done any kind of post comp guys. So, uh, when I first started here onto YouTube, it was all about post comp. All of it. Um... I'm here trying to figure out how to do live comment and all that stuff just like many of these YouTubers are. And you know, just having a look at this gameplay and doing this post comp, it just it really does take me back to when I first started all those years ago. So it, again, it's uh, it can only happen on my uh, on my on my birthday marathon. It really can. So yeah. Big ol' positive, big ol' thumbs up on that. So let's see. I think we go right here and Yes! Well hello there, baby. It's been a while, and I'm pretty sure you had a vision of me, so I'm gonna be, uh, you know what? Let's go with Heracross. And as you can see, Sabrina had a vision of me three years ago, and, uh, well, she doesn't really like the fight, but she's gonna see if we're worthy of her hand in marriage, I mean, of her badge. So here we go, taking on Sabrina herself, and look at those, uh, yeah, she looks like she has cosmic powers, and as you can see, she does have a pretty good team. She added some Pokemon from Johto, so, let's go right ahead and go with the Shadow Claw. Now, if you're taking on Psychic-type Pokemon right here, just remember, their physical defense are frail. But it is a risk if you're trying to hit them with a physical attack. As you can see, bam! Hercules gets its butt kicked. And Shadow Claw... Will it finish it? No, it doesn't. And, well, after knowing that, you know, Sabrina's gonna be using a full restore, Yes, another Shadow Claw. Hopefully this one will end up in a critical hit. Probably, I don't even know. And dang it. Okay, so that doesn't work. And well, here comes a Sacrificial Lamb for Hercules right here. Yes. Okay, so I was a little too big for my bridges right here. Okay, I really was. So let's go right ahead and uh, let's go with uh, Fluffle right here. Fluffle, it has been a while now. Even though we're slower, we're a lot stronger. Because I do have Signal Beam, a very, very good bug type move that can actually affect dark types and, and, uh, and psychic types right here. So here we go. Signal Beam for the win. And there you go. Okay. Alrighty. So look at that. Espeon has been defeated. Fluff Volt gets some experience points as well as Toxic Batman because, you know. A little lazy uh, bum right here. And here we have a Mr. Mime. So let's go right ahead and switch it out. Hmm. You know what? Let's go with Relic. Relic is going to do something right here. It's going to mess people up. It's going to destroy everybody right here. So let's see what Mr. Mime can do. And, well, let's go with the Shadow Ball. And, well, that Psychic Attack will just hit us. Not so hard, but we're in... Yeah, okay, so that was a critical hit. And luckily for us, it didn't lower our stats right there. So here we go, Shadow Ball for the win. And crap, Bastards, this guy is a tough one. So let's go right ahead and do this again. Let's go with another Shadow Ball. And please don't let it be a crit. Please don't let it be a crit. Come on. There we go. Yeah, you got lucky the first time. Second time, you won't be so lucky. So there you go, Shadow Ball does it. And there you go, Mr. Mime has been defeated. And, well, Relic getting some experience points right there with Toxic Batman. And look at that. Level 52 Toxic Batman. And here comes Sabrina's secret weapon, Alakazam. So we're going to go with uh, Fluff Volt, mainly for the signal beam. And, well, we're going to have to wait and see what happens right here. So here comes Alakazam, level 55. 
And you already know what's going to happen right here. Uh, I'm going to change the course of history. But look at this. A reflect. And this will actually increase the physical defense to Alakazam. And there you go. Signal beam. Come on. Finish. Oh, wow. It was super effective. And, well, as you can see, Alakazam is equipped with the Citrus Berry right here. So let's go right ahead and use another signal beam. And again, swap or skill swap is just, uh, yeah. I don't know why you're doing that, homeboy. So, there we go. Signal beam. For the win. Oh, God, come on. When I say for the win, that means for the, for the win. And, oh, really? Okay, so, yes. Full, another full restore. So, we're gonna, yeah, we're just gonna have to go, like, Go oh, ham on the signal beam right here. And that right there hits it pretty hard. So let's go one more time. Here comes the psychic attack. And, well, doesn't really kill us. And here comes the signal beam attack right there and then. Alrighty. Look at that. Okay. And just like that, <laughs> we still got we, we still got to hit this guy with more signal beams right here. So after that, we have defeated Sabrina once again. To get ourselves our tenth badge right here, so yeah, she's uh she's actually happy about that that you know <laughs> we defeated her. But here we got the marsh badge, guys, and uh, well, marsh badge is always fun to have. And here we get ourselves another TM. I do believe it's skill swap or something like that. Okay, so that's another victory. That's another gym badge, and that's a very very good uh, first episode for uh, first episode back here in Pokemon Heart Gold. So, let's get the heck out of here. And, yeah, 10 badges in all. So, we're going to get a phone call. We're not going to actually answer that. Anywho, guys, I'm looking at the timer right here. We're about to be done with this episode. So, I will see you guys in the next episode as we go straight to the next city, I believe. I don't know where it is. So, I'll see you guys next time.